This is the new renovation. It's almost a year old. Stripes up pretty good when you get the sun right. All right, today we're doing some initial preparations for some sand leveling. This is the first time I've done sand leveling on this section behind me. And uh, basically what I've done so far is I've lowered my mower down one notch. Uh, typically cut it on a notch number three. I took it down to a number two, which is about a half inch shorter. And then I'll go to a number one uh, the day before we level it. So I'm gonna show you a couple things we're gonna do in preparation uh, other than just mowing. So this is one area I wanna address uh, between the mail person running off the road between my neighbor's mailbox and my mailbox, and then cars running off the road dragging trailers off. Uh, we're down probably, I don't know, three inches, four inches or so, probably a little bit more down there. So what I'm gonna do is add some more dirt here before we get the sand. I don't wanna put quite that much sand in there. I'm pretty persistent. It's probably a never ending battle, but I'm gonna keep trying uh, to get that up level with the road. So I did the same thing in front of my house and I haven't had any issues like this. Um, so I don't know if the dirt was just softer when I put it in, I didn't get it packed good. And then when people ran off the road, they kind of marred it to the side. I'm not real sure, but we're gonna keep adding dirt until we can get it right. One thing to keep in mind that I don't have any intention on this grass that I cover up coming back. Uh, it may or may not come through this dirt, uh, but I'm not really worried about it. I'll grow it into the dirt or put a little bit of seed out. So if you're trying to get the grass to come up, then this may or may not be the solution for you. I'm just going to do the same thing down through there about 15 or 20 feet. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to drag sand over top of this too. I just didn't want to fill it in with as much sand as what it would have taken. There's nothing special about this dirt. It's just regular field dirt. It's pretty clean though. It's not screened. It had some chunks of clay in it that I just had to break up, but didn't really see any rocks in it. Uh, you could use sand in this scenario. Uh, the reason I don't like to fill it up that much with sand is you get the variation between your dirt. So your watering requirements and nutrient requirements might be a little different. So I like to try to keep things as uniform as possible. So that's why we went with dirt here. And it's probably inevitable. Somebody probably run through here tonight, but at least I've got a good base on the right hand side to at least prevent it from pushing it over. Whereas when I initially seeded, it was a lot of loose dirt. So somebody runs through it, I'll just get up here and rake it out again. And I'll keep fighting it until we get some established grass that'll hold it uh, when people do run off the road. That's what I was going for. So it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Uh, the sand is really gonna perfect it. Um, what I did is I just filled it up all the way level to the uh, road and then drug it out to where it was smooth to the turf. And then I drove over it with my VIN track a dozen or so times to really pack it down in there. Last thing we gotta do before we get the sand is move the irrigation heads from where they used to be over to the edge of the grass. If you were digging this out of your front yard, you may not want to do it this way. I personally like to go all the way back to where it connects into my line and hook up a new piece of funny pipe. They do make an adapter where you can tie in right here on the base of the head and just put a coupling in and start a new piece of funny pipe. And you wouldn't have to dig such a big hole if you were digging in like your yard. But since this area is gonna get graded anyway, I like to go all the way back to the source. That way I don't have an additional leak point at some point. Another good reason to keep them out of your yard is it's definitely gonna settle around this head. It's a lot easier to readjust the head in a landscape bed. We'll finish filling the rest of it in with a power rake whenever we finish grading this landscape bed. I don't think that was gonna work. So far I've dug about 10 feet and I still have not found the end of the funny pipe. Instead of back here, we're gonna stop the zone up on the other side of that rock. So I'll just get an elbow with a, um, an adapter on it and we'll set the zone up here. Took a little bit of digging, but I finally found it. So that's where we're gonna cut and put our elbow. Uh, this is gonna be the end of the zone. This is where the funny pipe went into the very end of the zone where the elbow was. So what we're gonna be doing is just completely eliminating this. And uh, it's gonna help me out because I'm actually gonna cut it right here and it's gonna have a bunch of water come out of it. And since we're downhill where we're gonna put our elbow, that's gonna keep me from filling my other hole up with water. Now that that's pretty well finished draining, we're just gonna cut it up here and this is where the elbow's gonna go. See if I can get me a little bit cleaner of a cut. I 
try to do everything I can above ground, make it a little bit easier on yourself. Put it on there sideways and then twist it up 90 degrees, get that glue smeared around. Hold it for a few seconds and it's set. That was the last part that we had to do. I ended up moving uh, four heads down the side and then two over in the landscape bed and then one over in this landscape bed. Simply because I built these landscape beds after we established the irrigation. So I had to just adjust them out to the edge. Should be ready for some sand leveling later this week. Uh, just got to mow and aerate the day of. Appreciate y'all watching. If you got any questions or comments, let me know. And I should have a sand leveling video up here pretty soon.